Hi, it's Michelle from Lab Muffin Beauty Science, Chemistry PhD, and fan of science-based skincare products. Today I'm talking about micellar waters. I've talked about the science behind micellar waters before in a previous video, but today's video focuses on why you need to cleanse your skin, why micellar waters might be suitable for you, and why they might not be suitable for you. This video is sponsored by Bioderma, the science-heavy French dermo cosmetic brand that invented micellar water back in 1991. You've probably heard of their Sensi Bio Micellar Water, which is a cult product that makeup artists love. If you like this sort of video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. The first step in any skincare routine is cleansing. Cleansing is really important. You want to get rid of any remnants of products that you applied earlier in the day or the previous day. You also want to get rid of excess oil, dirt, germs, and dead skin cells that are left on the surface of your skin. Otherwise, all this stuff left on your skin can be irritating, it can lead to breakouts, it can also stop other products from working, and it can make your skin look dull. Unfortunately, you can't just wash your face with plain water, and the reason is a lot of the things you're trying to remove are oil-soluble, and as you probably know, oil and water don't dissolve in each other. In almost all cleansers, you'll find ingredients called surfactants, Surfactants help oil dissolve in water. Surfactants are the key ingredients in gel cleansers, foaming cleansers, cleansing balms, cleansing oils, and of course, micellar waters. If you want to know more about cleansing and how to set up a skincare routine, you can check out my book, The Lab Muffin Guide to Basic Skincare. Micellar waters are very liquid products that contain gentle surfactants in water. You pour them onto a cotton pad and wipe them over your skin, and generally you don't need to rinse. They're very popular for removing makeup and for cleaning your skin when you don't have a sink handy. The micelles in micellar water are how surfactants arrange themselves into these little clusters when they're in water. Oily substances are attracted to the tails that are in the middle of the micelles. Now you might have heard some people say that micellar water is just soapy water or just diluted cleanser, and while technically these do have micelles in water, Micellar water is a category of product. It's like how technically any stick that you put on your lips is a lip stick, but it's not lipstick. The key difference with micellar waters is that if they've been formulated carefully, is that they're designed to stay on your skin. The problem with a lot of surfactants is that they're quite irritating. They tend to burrow into your skin and stay there, which causes irritation and dehydration. But different surfactants have different irritation potential. So for example, in Biodoma's micellar waters, they use a surfactant that's used in leave-on products like moisturizers, and so it's fine to leave them on your skin without rinsing. If you just take any cleanser and dilute it with water and try to use it like micellar water, you're probably leaving surfactants on your skin that are meant to be rinsed off. So what's so good about micellar waters compared to other cleansers? The biggest advantage of micellar waters is that they are so, so convenient. Since you use micellar waters with cotton pads, they tend to be better at removing makeup than standard foaming cleansers. If your micellar water has beneficial ingredients in it, then it acts as a one-step cleansing and toning and treatment step. So for example, Bioderma have three types of micellar water. The Sense of Bio, which is for sensitive skin, and the Sebium, which is for oily and acne-prone skin, both contain DAF. This is the Dermatological Advanced Formulation, which is a combination of actives that make your skin more resilient to irritation and to free radicals. The Sebium also has zinc and copper, which help to fight acne. There's also the HydroBio version, which is made for dehydration-prone skin, and this contains Aquagenium. This is a combination of niacinamide and apple extract, which help to improve the circulation of water in your skin and repair your skin barrier. There's also tons of my favorite humectant ingredient, glycerin, which is great at holding water onto your skin. Predictably, Bioderma HydroBio is my favorite micellar water. It's really good at cleansing without leaving my skin feeling tight. I also like the simple micellar water, which has added niacinamide. Micellar water is also really versatile. Since it's not oil-based and since you can leave it on your skin, it's really good for correcting makeup mistakes. So for example, my winged eyeliner. You can dip a cotton bud into it and then wipe away any mistakes. And because it's not oil-based, you can put makeup on it immediately afterwards. And that's probably why makeup artists love it so much. 
Because you don't need a sink and you don't need to rinse, it's really good for situations like after you go to the gym or when you're traveling, especially if you're on a plane and you have the travel size bottle. If you're bad at removing your makeup at night, if you leave a bottle of micellar water next to your bed with some cotton pads, then you might be able to break that habit. It's a bit less wasteful than makeup wipes, and yes, you can use reusable cotton pads with micellar water. Micellar water is also really good if you need to avoid a certain area of your face. So for example, I got my eyebrows microbladed, and after that I couldn't get my eyebrows wet for 10 days. So I got some micellar water and cotton pads and I wiped all around it to cleanse. I don't know what I would have done without micellar water. The fact that you don't have to rinse micellar water is a really big advantage when you're in areas where the tap water might not work for your skin. So for example, if you have really hard water, if you have really highly chlorinated water, or if you just have muddy and polluted and dirty water. Bioderma use PPI water, which is water that's high quality enough to be injected, and so the water quality issue is sorted. Of course, no skincare product works for everyone and for every situation, so here are the downsides of micellar water. You do need to use micellar waters with a cotton pad. What the cotton pad does is it sort of unrolls the micelle so the tails, which love oil, can grab onto greasy oil and makeup. I have more info on this on my video on the science behind micellar water. So the obvious downside is you do need to have a cotton pad around. The other downside is that cotton pads, if they're a bit rough, if you're pressing it too hard, if you use it too frequently, they are actually physical exfoliants and so it's possible to over exfoliate your skin. It's also difficult to use micellar water in the shower, so if you usually wash your face in the shower, you'll have to use the micellar water before you go in. Some micellar waters aren't formulated to be all that gentle, and of course, different people have different skin sensitivities. So if you have sensitive skin and you use a micellar water that has harsh surfactants, or if it has a really high pH, and you don't rinse it off, then you might end up with irritated skin. In general, the pH of cleansers, including micellar waters, should be slightly acidic, around pH four to six. Unfortunately, this isn't always the case, and you can end up with micellar waters at high pH that can throw your skin off. I hope this video answers some of your questions about micellar waters. If you do have a question I didn't cover, leave it in the comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. You can also follow me on Instagram at Science and check out my blog. See you next time for more beauty science.